What's up? Today's video is going to be an early Christmas haul, and I'm a little under the weather, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna push through. I'm watching Jersey Shore for a while. Okay, so I don't get distracted. I'm a little under the weather, but it's okay because I'm gonna push through. Have a haul for you guys. It's the holidays. Amazing. My favorite time of the year. It's time to go shopping. It's time to do all the hauls. Get with it. Let's get festive. So, the bag of things, which this bag from the Christmas tree shop. You can never have too many of these bags because they're just amazing and convenient for all of your shopping needs. I must have like a hundred of these. A hundred, like, not even kidding, a hundred. I got these scented pine cones at the Christmas tree shop. These were just um, $3.49. You can never have enough of these. These are a holiday must. This The fragrance is just the holidays. I just woke up too, so if I kind of like slur and everything, I'm just, I'm still waking up, so. Excuse me, I got my water, and I'm just, you know, I'm gonna take a walk after this, and have my coffee then, and then I'm, you know, edit the videos. Because the thing is, with my videos, I don't have enough time in the morning to wake up, and get ready, film a video, edit, all that before I go to work, because I just work so much now, so, I'm waking up really early now, it's like not even 8 o'clock yet, and I'm filming this video, so I just woke up, so I have sleepy face, I just, I feel like, ugh, I don't feel like I'm awoke, awoke, awake. Yet for the day, it's kind of rainy, gloomy. Just a lot of factors are interfering with all of this. Just deal with me. I bought this cute ice cream house for a village. So cute. Love it. This is only $8, so this was like not expensive at all. And um, it's a cute little cute little house. It's like just candy land. I bought this little Christmas tree. This is a 18-inch... 18 inch Christmas tree that includes 20 plastic ball ornaments. Looks like this. Just cute, simple little tree. I think everybody needs a little Christmas tree. I think everybody needs like 5 to 10 Christmas trees. Everybody needs like a festive looking Wonderland house. So this is perfect. Like, yeah, I have, my trees are up November 1st, so get into it. Five below. I bought a few things for my dogs. Um. A pet collar that jingle jingle jingles. It's cute, cute, cute. Love it. And then I bought these little um, pet scarves because I'm that bitch who loves the fur and the bling. Love it. They're gonna love it. Random, I bought this at the Halloween store because they were closed in the Halloween store. Everything was 50% off, so I bought a strobe light that has like color, um, sh uh, shades, tints, whatever you want to call them. Um, Colored gels. That's what they're called. Okay. This was on sale at Walmart. It's not really pumpkin spice season anymore, but it will do for next year. It was only a dollar or something like that. Pumpkin spice season. So, that was good. And then finally, I have Bath and Body Works, which I don't think I've done Bath and Body Works like in a haul in so long. Of course, I bought things, but I don't think it's been enough to do a haul, so. Sorry, I know that used to be like my go-to thing was like Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle Hauls. I've just been saving, trying to save money, and that's why I haven't been doing many hauls. And, um, I'm still broke because food, it's going to food. It's going to food. I'm like, can't you tell? It's all good. It's all good, though. So I had a coupon. Well, I have like nine books of coupons. Because, you, know, you, know, you know, when you make a purchase, they give you these books of coupons. You get coupons in the mail. I take people's mail. <laughs> just kidding. But, um... Their coupons was a free body care with any purchase, which was like a really good deal with any purchase. And they had these little lotion toppers for a dollar. So I had three coupons, three items. I only paid three dollars. That's it. And this is like what? Thirteen fifty, thirteen fifty, fourteen fifty. This is like lots of money that I just paid three dollars for. So you really need to be a smart shopper. You really need to be on the lookout and look for those deals because that's my life. I'm a clearance shopper. All of this stuff you see, bitch, clearance. Not that I'm like a poor bitch, but you know what? Who doesn't love a deal? So I bought these, the dollar things. I bought these hats that just go on top of the um, lotions or sprays. I buy these every year because they're just so cute. They go on like this. Ooh. I'm struggling. I am struggling. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? Like, fa la 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 la. Tis the season, bitch. And look at the little, little spray. Cute. Cute. 
I've got Winter Candy Apple, which is always there at Bath & Body Works. I think it's one of their, like, originals. I don't know, like, one of their, their home, like, their signature holiday fragrances, because every year it's there. And I love the packaging, like, this year. Like, is it me, or is Bath & Body Works really changing their packaging, like, every single month? It feels like every new line is a new package, new bottle, new, new design, which I don't mind, but it's just observation. They're not really doing, like, the animated stuff, which I have been telling Bath & Body Works. So they're doing more classy look looks. Winter Candy Apple is basically, like, a sweet apple. It's good. It's definitely a little perfumey. Sweet like candy. Well, candy apple. But, yeah, you get that apple. It's pretty much self-explanatory. But it's fresh, too. Like, that. you smell that winter fresh. So I think it's a good a good holiday into the winter January months spray fragrance. Next is going to be one of my all time favorites and I think another one of Bath & Body Works is um, Signature Holiday Scents the Twisted Peppermint which the packaging of this one is really nice and cute. It's bold, it's bright, it's neon. I'm all for it. So basically it's just that straight up peppermint straight up peppermint and it's good. Who doesn't love peppermint at the holidays? Naughty or nice, whatever list you're on, your skin deserves continuous moisture so you feel nice and soft. 24 hour moisture, shea, aloe, and cocoa butters. Which they've been trying to do better with the creams and stuff, having like more of the natural oils and like vitamins and stuff. The notes are twisted, wait, are there notes in here? No. Oh, wait. Twisted Peppermint is a blend of cool peppermint, sugar snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh balsam. Well, I don't smell the balsam. Um, vanilla buttercream and the peppermint, the sugared snow, that I smell. Like, all the fresh, cool, pepperminty notes. No balsam. But it's still good. And now I've got one of their new ones that I am obsessed with because peppermints that I was just talking about, Coconut Mint Drop. The name sounds amazing, like, it just sounds so festive and candy-esque. Here's the thing, you don't, I love the color by the way, you don't smell any coconut. I don't smell any coconut. Treat your skin with, oh, okay, let's see. Coconut Mint Drop has white coconut, white coconut, um, iced peppermint, and uh, winter musk. I smell the peppermint and a little bit of the musk, but there's no coconut. If anything, maybe like a light of the lightest of coconut, that's what you could smell. But it's not like an over-the-top coconut at all. Like if you think, like if you love coconut and you want like just like mostly coconut, do not get this. If you like more minty fresh scents, get this. It's got a real fresh minty vibe and I love it. I feel like I'm having problems talking today. I'm just like trying to get my words out. Sorry. I'm just so a mess right now and unorganized. Like the holiday... The holidays have me in a craze. I think everybody's in a craze. Like this week, this past weekend, was the, the first weekend of November. Everybody was out of their house. Like, everybody and their mother was out of their house this weekend. It, and everybody's going crazy. They're just shopping. The carts are filled. So I'm like, oh my god, like, the holidays are here. Everybody is just mes mesmerized, by right? The holidays, I gotta get my shopping, I gotta get everything done, I gotta get the decorations, I gotta get the food, the turkey. Like, it's, it's here. So I'm a little bit in that, in that phase right now, so I will be okay. So now, more products. Okay, I'm going to go fairly quick here. The other, they had two new scents for this holiday. They had um, the Coconut Mint Drop, and this one is the Snowy Morning that I picked up. This is, um, yeah, Snowy Morning. Looks like this. Cute little purple, light purple, lavender-like bottle. Um, so this is Snowy Morning, and basically it is... Fruity. Sweet. Like a candy. Like a candy um, fragrance. Okay. Snowy Morning has Frosted Bergamot, Mistletoe Berry, and um, Snow Kissed Lavender. Okay. So I smell a little bit of the lavender, but mostly that fruity berry scent. No bergamot. I can't smell any bergamot. I don't know, unless that's just me. But it's a really nice scent. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's very Christmassy. It's more wintry than um, Christmassy, if that makes sense. Because, you know, when you think of Christmas, you think of, like, the spices and cinnamon, whatever, but this is more of like a winter after Christmas scent, like good for January, February, it's just, it's nice. And then I got the spray of the Coconut Mint Drop, 
and it's not too alcoholic. Like, I know lately Bath & Body Works, their sprays have been more into the alcohol, more of an alcohol scent than the actual scent and, like, notes itself. But this one does pretty good. Okay, this one is just more, definitely more fresh. And any of that little mint that I told you that was in this, this is not at all in this. Like, there is, like, not one ounce of coconut in this. I don't think. But it's really good. It's really fresh. Smell that mint. <sighs> Loving it. I got the um, body body lotion of Frosted Snow Blossom, which is a fruity floral. That's how I describe it. It's just really good and good. Notes? Does it have the notes? Yes. Um, the key notes are snow jasmine, frosted gardenia petals, crisp air, um, white sandalwood, and winter musk. Okay. I smell the jasmine, the gardenia, a little bit of the crisp air, the sandalwood, and the musk. Okay, I pretty much just named everything. I smell it all. It's a good, fresh scent with that floral mixed in. Again, more so, it would be nice for Christmas, but also, like, after Christmas, like, January, like, the winter. Winter months. Then I have free coupons. I had free, um, travel size items. Just no purchase necessary for these. So I got these side notes. Side notes and observations. They have changed the labels because they're now the, um, super smooth 24-hour cream. And with that new packaging, new things, they raised the price to $5.50 instead of $5. So I kind of just snuck these on the counter to see if they're going to accept it. Because these used to be $5. So, like, what are you doing? We can't get free items now. And on another side note, I'm so glad they decided to do these um, more smooth, um, different ingredients. Because these feel so much better. Like, before the original body lotions, I hated. That's why I always went to these because these were more smooth when you put on... You don't have that gross, icky feeling. These used to have, like, or the old ones had that gross, rubbery feeling on your skin afterwards. But these are definitely more smooth, like these, with their new ingredients or whatever. So it does feel better. The scent is good. It's a good, it's a good call. So this one is Magic in the Air, which is how I described it last year. It was new last year. I, um, a warm floral. It's got, like, those cozy, like, vanilla notes, but it has a lot of floral mixed in. So it's a good, interesting, unique balance. It's good. And then I have one of their classics, the cha uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom, which is a nice cherry floral. And it's all good. Okay, and that is everything here from my haul. Hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below if you've tried any of these products and what do you think of them. What are you shopping for on the holidays? What kind of scents are you going to be trying? And that'd be that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!